guys, it's so mongery, and today I'm bringing you some Half Minute Hero. This is an Xbox Live arcade game. It's 800 Microsoft points, and I'm going to share with you guys my review. I'm on Quest number 7 here, and this is actually the third time I played Quest 7. There's different things that you can go back in each quest and try to get to get different accomplishments done, I guess. And it kind of makes it more interesting because you can go back and some of the things you got to do are like buy all the items in the map or maybe beat the boss a special way or maybe beat a mini boss in there. Like you'll see me doing this one, there's a mini boss, a huge bird. So you see my shadow here. It's, I'm going back and it shows you kind of a timer on the right side on what I did before in the past so that you know what, how you're doing and beating your record. So that's cool. I'm really enjoying this style of an RPG game for me personally. I like RPGs in the past when I was younger, but now I just don't have the time or I don't want to dedicate the time to playing RPGs, so this is kind of a cool kind of side quest in my own life when I'm not playing. Like Transformers, Halo, Battlefield, uh, Zombies, things like that. It's just kind of a cool time killer game. And it's kind of funny, the, the dialogue's decent, it kind of gets repetitive over time, I can already see that happening with eight quests that I've done so far, but each level you kind of run through, they're about you know 10, 10 minutes long total, they're not really half a minute, but you get half a minute each time to go through, beat the final boss, and then you can pray to the goddess, and you can get time back, you get 30 seconds back every time you pray to the goddess, but it costs money, and every time you pray it costs more money. So the challenges get harder and harder, and you got to do more tasks every level that you progress through the game. And it seems like you'd have a lot of time in this game for 800 Microsoft points. I've already played the game for like two hours, and I'm not even halfway through the first whole, uh, I guess, mission thing. And I guess there's like 62 missions, and there's an online play. I haven't played it online. I actually tried searching this morning, and no one was playing online, so that might be a problem. You might not be able to play online. But here you see me kind of running through Quest 7. You can see the different things I'm doing. I'm running in here to get this this medal for the tribe so that they'll let me destroy this rock here so I can get to the main bad guy. But I already did that, so I come, I'm coming back here trying to get the other achievements. Or the other, not achievements, but the other uh, accomplishments. One is gorgeous, and one is coward. I already did the coward thing because I ran from this guy before to see what happened, and he just says, you're a spineless coward. And then that's it for that one. And then the gorgeous one is to buy that golden armor so and then the one thing you can't do in this game is go back to different quests with uh, the equipment that you have previously got because it'll cause a time paradox according to the time goddess so here you see me setting up to, j to destroy this giant bird here down below to get this armor so that I can get the accomplishment of gorgeous I'm talking to him right there and then I'm giving him this, and then I'm going to open up the bad guy already for myself. So you got to kind of think ahead. It's a strategic game. You don't have much time to think. You know, you get that 30 seconds each time until you buy more time from the goddess, but it keeps getting pricier and pricier, so you got to kind of make quick decisions. And it's kind of a fast-paced RPG style, and then there's just different, mo uh, different final boss each level you kind of go through. I'll show you the map at the end of this gameplay, so you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm really enjoying this game for 800 Microsoft points. I think it's a good deal for any RPG fan that if you like, you know, old RPGs, Final Fantasy, and it's a great game. I mean, if you're not into RPGs too much, it's a fun game to play, like, when you're waiting for some friends to play some multiplayer games, or if you're just kind of bored and you need to kill 10 minutes here or there, it's a fun game for that. So I think it's worth the 800 Microsoft points. You see me giant battling that, or killing that giant bird that I was Going to kill, and I'm buying my lavish mail, and there I am, gorgeous now. So now I'm gonna go and take on the final boss as quick as I can. And then each level, there's a leaderboard, so you get uh, to see who can beat the bosses quicker and with more stuff and stuff like that. So there's cool leaderboards, and there's like I mentioned the multiplayer. So I don't know. I think 800 Microsoft points if you had the spare points and you need something to fill in the time. This is a pretty fun game. It's entertaining. The dialogue is decent. So. It can get repetitive, but it's okay. I guess the graphics, you can turn them back to 8-bit, but it's really... I turned them back to 8-bits once, and I couldn't take it, so 8-bit's the thing of the past now, <laughs> for the Xbox at least. I don't know really the score I want to give on this. I think uh, the replay value might be okay if you don't beat all the missions like fully right away with all the equipment and get gold medals on time right away, so you might be able to come back and replay it. But I'm going to give the game a 7 out of 10. It's just... 
it's a fun game. It's not the greatest game in the world, but it's a good time filler. And if you got the extra points, I recommend getting it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Half Minute Hero. So let me know if you guys are going to get it. Leave a comment down below. Please rate this video and subscribe if you have not. Have a good day, you guys.